la 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 I just can't get you out of my head. Y'all remember that? Mm. Got a brother Kylie Minogue up in here. Uh, 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 can't get you out of my head. Man, let me tell you something. For the last hours, it's the thought that just, I was like, you know, I don't want to say nothing about this fight. The love can versus matter to Rosen. Right? I told y'all I wasn't watching it live. Went out to dinner. You know, try to find things to do. You know, chores or something. Because I wasn't going to give it the respect of a fight. Because it was just, you know, it was ridiculous. When you know, when you know things, it's ridiculous that that fight even had to happen. And I didn't like it. You know, so I told you guys I had an attitude. And my only thing the whole time was bullfighting. <laughs> bullfighting. I could, you know, I couldn't get it out of my head. Damn, it's like bullfighting. You know, people who would appreciate this fight would also appreciate bullfighting. You need to be on your way to Spain right now where it's legal. I don't even know why it's not legal. StubHub embarrassing me like that. But that's all right. We'll get to that. Right? Yeah, how you going to be on the way to Spain? It should be legal in the States. Right? Because if you want to see a slaughter, like the bull, you know, we go watch that and the bull never wins. Right? And if he does win once out of every thousand times, we're going to kill him anyway. And there's people from this planet who enjoy that. This planet right here. This one. That really go and watch that. Now, the bull, you know, don't you agree? You know, the bull should be the one, like, if he win one time from 2000 or something, that bull should be on the pasture, got a harem full of cows, you know, his food, he got three or four different types of food. You know, all he does is breed. They bring him cigars. You know, he's the bull. I'm breeding now. I won. Because it don't never happen. Right? No, we kill him too. Right? So, we enjoy that. <laughs> as people on this planet here. So, bring this to Golovkin versus Matter to Rosen. People in the know know that this is ridiculous. Right? Because you know that there were mandatories there willing to fight right-handed, which he needed. He was training for Canelo Alvarez, which was supposed to be a hard fight. Uh, and he didn't want to fight Darian Chico, Charlo, uh, Jacobs, anyone. Right? All would have been available. So, Oh, even though we had a training camp, we weren't ready for them. We tried to get Mungia, right? Nevada says no to that because that's too much of a mismatch. Why were we looking for him when we have people there? Then we get Matty to Rosen. He has to get dust off his gloves and everything. He ain't fought in three years, two years, but we don't want to make more than it is. Two years, and he lost his last fight. Tough guy, no doubt about it, but he's a division lower. Why? What, what's the reason? Right? So we're just going to watch a Golovkin slaughter. And then, you know, my stuff uh, up in that triple G, triple G. I'm like, man, wait a minute. Really? That was an opportunity to, to, you know, make them know, hey, we want to see or hear something. You know, you just could have came up with something else, you know. The man is Vanis. The man is Vanis. The man is Vanis. Something else. The little guy that has no chance. That's not really a, a very super technical guy. And he's smaller. Coming in there, trying his best. No, no, no. We want to see the slaughter. So I um, hope we all are on our way to Spain. We might as well have bullfight. The same thing. The only time the bull is cool is on the Looney Tunes. Now the Looney Tune bulls, but them bulls, you know, they get they get into it a little bit, get celebrated. No, we kill the bull. Vanis Manta Rosen comes to the fight to fight. Round one, he hit good luck with a three punch combination. I thought was awesome. Kept hitting him, and he hit him to the body and hurt him. People didn't really pay attention. Pay attention. It's a body blow. Boom. Left hook to the body. And he uh, makes Golovkin think about it. Not to mention he kind of wobbled him a little bit. But Golovkin says, okay, round two, I'm going to do a Tyson Fury, Steve Cunningham. I'm sick of playing around like we the same size. Right? Boom. Ding. Like Mike Tyson stuff. I'm coming in here with a different mentality and you're going out. I'm going to take your punches and take you out. Right? That mentality that he wouldn't have against David Lemieux or, you know, Jacobs, neither really after <laughs> Jacobs stunned him a time or two, not even really Canelo. But it doesn't matter. No one's trying to disparage no one personally. It's just that at the end of the day, we want to see good fights and it's not happening. Right? It's not happening. And the behavior was glaring. 
So it's not deserving of some of the things. Now we know the, the you know the usual suspects. HBO has to sell the fight. They got to do their thing. But you know, doing your thing and lying is two different things. That's why mainstream media. Which I'm talking about that in my last video. Mainstream media, you just can't even whatever. You're probably going to have to do like this. If they're saying it on TV, selling something, think the opposite. You might be doing better like that because there's some of the statements being made there. And it's, you know, an opportunity to let people know and also to force Gennady Golovkin to want someone of substance after this fight. You want to ask the right question, right? But you don't. You know, you make Vanis Master Rosen looks like he's really someone that can challenge Gennady Golovkin. And this is a good pick. And like there's no one else available. Why would you tell the consumer that there was no one else available? For what reason would you? That's a bold faced lie. Everybody was available. I'm talking about Guns N' Roses. Knock, knock, knocking on Triple G Joe. Hey, hey. You know, all of that. Everybody was knocking on the door. What are you talking about? Why would you say that on national TV? That's the same thing y'all did when y'all said he had the best knockout ratio in boxing. Well, that wasn't even true. Because Deontay Wilder had, had, still has that and had it then. You know, so sometimes you just got to go, oh, well, go Google up if that's the truth. Because <laughs> it's really getting to be ridiculous. Now, at the end of the day, the luck can handle this business. I know he's going to be trying to hope for Canelo. Um, I don't know why uh, he would not have to fight his IBF mandatory which is Darren Chico, his WBA mandatory, which is Daniel Jacobs, his WBC mandatory, which is Jamal Charlo, right? If you look at some of those things, it's so glaring. These guys are there waiting. And then you have the unification fight against Billy Joe Saunders, WBO style. Now, uh, Billy Joe Saunders was somebody they wanted to fight earlier, but we talked about it before. Billy Joe Saunders, since David Lemieux, messing around, let him look real good against Martin Murray, and he probably ain't going to be able to get a fight against Golovkin. And Canelo has already stated he didn't fight him. But you know what we all need to do is who cares who Canelo fights, right? If it's not somebody of substance, because they're grooming Fico Sullivan to fight him, right? Grooming. Just, we're going to look around everybody, and that's who they're trying to. Don't even try it. So, guys, stay focused, right? Stay focused. Uh, that fight with Monitor Rosen, to, you know, make it short, like I was saying, is bullfighting. I don't think the people should have been in the stand saying that. I think that should, it was an opportunity to make him at least think. It's similar to what I was saying about uh, Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker fight, that the fans should have said, we want Wilder. To make the promoters understand that we're not that casual, right? We know the bulk of boxing fans or whatever are there to see a fight, and they probably don't know the backgrounds on many of these people and, and what's really going on. That's okay. Right? But it is a responsibility to for the people who do know to give the people the truth at least. Right? The truth at least. Because if not, when they do find out the truth, then you're a liar then. That's not what you're trying to be, is it? But that's what it's looking like right about now. The Lufkin versus Matter to Rosen happened what we thought. Round two knockout. The Lufkin looked spectacular in doing so. And rah rah rah. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm about to hit y'all.